So while the philosophers are reconciling faith and reason, this busy slide touches on another significant dynamic in most religious systems, that being mysticism. Mysticism represents the fervent attempt to attain a more unified relationship between the mystic and God, or the ultimate. The Latin term unio mystica, or mystical union, exemplified this in the Middle Ages. Mystics are like athletes. They run the extra mile, they lift more weights, or jump higher to attain a oneness with God. So mystics are going vertical and cleaving to God. The term for mysticism in Judaism is Kabbalah, which basically means tradition. Of the many mystical texts, by far the most famous is the Zohar, the Book of Splendor, supposedly written by Moses de Leon. Mysticism and mystics interpret the tradition through very creative lenses that reflect the ideal of unio mystica. For example, there is a notion that the fall, the first sin in the Genesis creation story, caused the wounding of God. This divine damage caused sparks to be disseminated throughout the universe. So the mystical quest, all of these athletic things that mystics might do, are actually helping to repair God as the mystic seeks to merge with God. In the upper right corner, of the slide, there is a gif showing the prophet Ezekiel gazing upon what is known as the Merkabah chariot. Kabbalah has a long tradition of interpreting this vision as a mystical quest. In the upper left corner of the slide is a diagram of the Sephirot, which are believed to be various aspects of God. These are aspects of God that the Kabbalist can meditate upon. Speaking of meditation, Abraham Abulafia utilized techniques of meditation upon Hebrew letters and music tones. Isaac Luria and Lurianic Kabbalah had reincarnation notions in its mystical system. This little sampling of the elaborate and diverse beliefs and expressions of Kabbalah have given this form of mysticism a popularity that goes beyond traditional Judaism. You might notice on the lower right side of this slide a Sephirot tree with pictures of Madonna in various stages of her career. Next to her is Britney Spears. These are just two examples of celebrities that engage in Kabbalistic practices. Many, many years ago, before your grandparents were born, I was with a group of people listening to a rabbi speaking about various themes of Judaism and the Hebrew Bible. Maybe it was that same rabbi. Anyway, owing to the popularity of Kabbalah among some celebrities, an older lady raised her hand and asked the rabbi if he could speak about Kabbalah. The rabbi was somewhat dismissive of the question and stated something like, Kabbalah being popular among Jews because of the incredible oppression and violence they often suffered. There is some truth in this answer. Think about individuals and groups that might be experiencing very hard times. It makes perfect sense to go vertical when everything around you seems to be going to hell.